is true when you hear the word cancer. You just kind of stop hearing. Yeah, my first reaction to the word cancer was, oh crap. I prayed, I said, God, is it my time to go? And I actually got an answer. Um, no, no, Charlene, it's not. It's not your time to go. And when I got diagnosed, I felt really bad for my family. Not knowing how I would react to the chemo, what the drugs would do, I didn't want to put my husband through that. We were newlyweds, and all of a sudden, I'm testing that for better, for worse thing in a horrible way. Well, he was right there beside me. Of course, immediately, I cried. I was emotional. My kids were my first thought. How will, if I don't make it, what will they do? So. I was struck with fear and um, not knowing if I would survive or not was, it just, um, it was really overwhelming. I just wasn't sure if I was gonna survive it. I was just, I didn't know what it meant. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I didn't know what I had to do. I'd know, I'd never had any experience with cancer in my family or my life at all. So um, I just didn't know what it meant. And I was like, I, this can't be happening to me. I work at a cancer center. You know, I can't be, I, this just can't be. I mean, I've got all my family to take care of and this can't be happening. It was uh, extremely overwhelming to think that I hadn't won the first time like I thought I had. And so to have it come back was like, couldn't possibly be. We did everything we were supposed to do. I did everything right. I was a good girl. <laughs> and, and it came back anyway. And they said because it did and the way that it did that my Chances for survival are much less this time. The Project Her is just the ongoing support that it provides for you. If you need somebody, there's somebody there that you can call and talk with. I was given the number for Joanne Stutzman, but she actually called me first and um, she was, uh, it was amazing because you don't know what, where to go, what to do, how to start. And she just sort of was like a mum. I don't have my mum here, she's over in England. So um, I went up to see her and she put me in touch with a mentor who's become like, has become my best friend here. <laughs> it's gonna make me cry. <laughs> it was really great because you have no idea what to expect and it was just, it was nice to talk to somebody who got it, who, who understood. So, yeah, through, my, through everything, Project Her was always there. The loving support of someone other outside of my family that actually cared enough to contact me, to keep me going, to make sure you're doing okay, and you wouldn't think you were having any problems, and, you get that phone call and suddenly you realize that you were in more problems than you realized and they were right there to support you and, and be a part of your life. It was incredibly wonderful. Really, it's like, it is like a lifeline. I know that sounds like a canned term, but it really is a lifeline because they, Joanne and Sarah were always there at the other end of the line and any questions, if you just wanted to talk to someone um, or you had a a concern. They they organized food for me at home, so I didn't have to worry about it for the children, and they loved that. They had this menu. Oh, what should we have tonight? It was wonderful. It was a real treat for them, actually. And um, the just the resources and the friends and everything. It was it was unbelievable. I definitely wouldn't have got through with as much. I wouldn't say enthusiasm. It wasn't an enthusiastic <laughs> type of experience, but. Uh, as much confidence without them. I really think Project Her is like all of my best girlfriends surrounding me with love and hugs and making me know that life will be fine and go on and be okay. Project Her gives back to the community in multiples of what you could possibly donate to them. I only wish that it existed for 
all the other forms of cancer because it's not breast cancer alone that leaves you confused and distraught. It's any kind of cancer. But we're fortunate, those of us who get breast cancer, to have this program here that provides tremendous support to the women and their families. It's, it's an invaluable resource. Project HER is, is as vital to a newly diagnosed patient as their surgeon, as their oncologist, as the radiologist, as the physical therapist. It is a part of a big team that helps us get through this disease as whole and emotionally stable and viable as possible.